Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's. Hope you're doing really well. Today, it's time for a top 10 list, top 10 spring designer fragrances, 2021. It's a nice day out, figured I'd shoot the video out here instead of in the fragrance dungeon. Yeah, trees could be greener, but they will be in like a month or two. And then it's gonna look real nice back here, just all green as far as you can see. Right now though, kind of gray. Sky's blue though, that's nice. So these are the fragrances that I'm looking forward to wearing this spring. Got a bunch of different ones here. Some of these are really obvious picks. Some of them maybe not quite so obvious. And I've also got three honorable mentions. I usually don't do those. I usually just go straight into the top 10, but there were so many I wanted to talk about this year. I was like, whatever, I'll put them in there anyway. It's my video. I make the rules. So we've got a lot to talk about, a whole bunch of different fragrances. Don't want this video to run too terribly long. So let's just jump into it. Let's get things started with my first honorable mention, Lacoste Lome Intense. This is a great bang for your buck fragrance. Doesn't cost very much from discounters. Super versatile. This one is a compliment puller. It's got rhubarb, orange, and ginger right off the top. So you get this nice tartness from the rhubarb, mixes with the sweetness and freshness of the orange and the ginger. Gives it a nice sparkle, a nice pop off your skin. You've got some woody notes in there as it dries down. Just kind of a modern woodsy dry down, nothing insane, but a really, really, really solid fragrance. The original Lacoste Loam, very good as well. And uh, Lacoste Timeless, Lacoste Loam Timeless is okay, but this one's better. Next up, Michael Kors Extreme Sky. This one has a really good opening. I love the opening in this one. Problem is the dry down. Dry down's pretty bland. This one has cypress, vetiver, bergamot, and ozonic notes. Initially, when you first spray it on, Oof, really good. It's got this fresh, brisk, green, slightly woodsy opening. It smells really good. It's just the dry down where this one falls flat. It gets pretty bland. Not bad, doesn't smell terrible or anything like that. Just kind of boring, a little generic in the dry down. But the opening is good enough that I wanted to mention it. And the last mention, Mr. Burberry Indigo. Mint, rosemary, violet, and lemon, some of the notes in this fragrance. This one's got a really nice herbal feel. It does have a bit of that blue fragrance versatility. It is overlooked. People don't really talk about this very much. They don't really talk about this line very much, to be honest. But Burberry Indigo, actually pretty good. Especially if you like fragrances that do have a green twist to them, which I do. Okay, time for the official top 10. Number 10 is a fragrance that I did not like when I first smelled it. I was really unhappy that it was even made. And a lot of you out there felt the same way or still feel the same way. It's Dior Ohm 2020. Now, let's get something straight. I prefer the original. I love the original Dior Ohm. I think it's much better than Dior Ohm 2020. So that out of the way, Dior Ohm 2020 is extremely versatile. People love it. You can wear this anywhere, huge compliment puller. And it's just a kind of, Jack of all trades fragrance. ISO E Super, Cashmere, Vetiver, and Bergamot are some of the notes in this fragrance. This one is extremely modern and masculine, a clean, fresh, woodsy scent. And actually the more that I've worn this, the more it's grown on me and the more I like it. Yeah, you could kind of say that Dior Homme 2020 is like the Dior Sauvage of the Dior Homme line, if that makes any sense to you. But it's pretty good. <laughs> when I smell it, I like it now like it a lot. I've kind of separated myself from the original Dior Homme or you know the way that I view this from the original Dior Homme and now I view it as its own thing and I like it. Like I said the original Dior Homme I will always love but that one Dior Homme 2020 it's impossible to not be able to pull that off. You can wear it anywhere anytime any place and people are gonna love it. Gonna take me to number nine Green Lover from Lolita Limpica. This one's got juniper, vanilla, and orange as some of the main notes in the fragrance. So some people will say that it reminds them of like a, a sweet vanilla, orange, gin and tonic. All those notes combine to make this a really pleasant, sweet, creamy orange fragrance with a very brisk, fresh opening. Now, you would expect this would be really, really green, and maybe herbal because the name is Green Lover, the bottle is green, but it's not. Yeah, there's mint in there, there's juniper, but it leans more so into that vanilla and that orange, along with the mint and juniper giving it a, 
a really uplifting blast in the opening. Great fragrance though, number nine. Number eight is one I've talked about in the past and I don't really like the way that this house is going right now. Kind of wish they'd get back to their, their previous style, but it's Valentino Womo Aqua. Nowadays, Valentino seems to be wanting to just rip off other people. <laughs> like Born in Roma is kind of Invictus -y. and then Born in Roma Yellow Dream smells like Stronger With You, but this one, definitely does its own thing. It's got tomato leaf, mandarin orange, and leather, and then it has iris, which lumped it in with the other Valentino Uomo fragrances around the time that this came out because they were building the Valentino Uomo line around iris, much in the same way Dior had the Dior Ohm line also built around iris. The tomato in here is great, the tomato leaf. It gives it this little bit of a green, watery, aspect slight herbal undertones mixing with that fresh iris smells fantastic you get a little leather in the dry down giving it you know, a little more depth a little more longevity it's not fantastic in terms of performance but just in terms of the scent the quality the uniqueness that one amazing gonna take me to number seven mustache eau de toilette the eau de parfum is the one that gets hyped it sells out all the time the eau de toilette completely overlooked and super cheap it's got lemon, bergamot, lavender, and musk as some of the notes in the fragrance. Presentation looks fantastic. This one has very much an old school feel, which you would expect. You look right on the front there, original 1949. So kind of lets you know what you're in for. Very gentlemanly, very refined, very sophisticated. A little bit of sweetness from the citrus in there, not too much. Got a, kind of a barber shoppy feel as well. This one, very office safe. Uh, you can wear this one formally very easily, casually very easily as well. I think for the price that you can get this at, this is one of the best buys that I've made over the past couple years. It's really, really solid. So this one's gonna be great for daytime situations. Like I said before, business situations, formal situations, the office casually, stuff like that. Maybe a little bit more for guys middle-aged and older, but it's not so old school smelling that somebody younger couldn't pull it off. Now this next one at number six is a fragrance that appears to be a little bit divisive. If you're going Fragrantica, a lot of people don't seem to like it all that much. I think it's really, really good, especially if you like green fragrances. If you like green fragrances, you should absolutely check this one out. It is Origami from Loewe. Now one issue that I have with this bottle that it did just now is that right there, take the cap off and it strips off uh, the little thing that sits down over the atomizer crimp. It would be like the collar, I guess. So now it's stuck inside there. No worries though, I can get it back out. I actually have a tool to do that. Maybe I'll show you that in a future video. So, great. It's got basil, lavender, vetiver, and bergamot as some of the notes in the fragrance in this. This is great, great, great quality. It smells fantastic, very, very green very brisk, a little bit abrasive potentially when you first spray it on, but I think it's amazing the whole way through. Again, you've got a little bit of that old school vibe going on here with that prominent lavender, but it's done in a, a very, very good way. Absolutely love, love this fragrance, especially as everything starts to bloom out here, everything starts to come back to life, something like this that really gets that green aspect captured. Mm. Coming in at number five, Stronger With You Freeze from Emporio Armani. And like the name suggests, when you first spray this one on, it's very icy, very refreshing, very brisk, very lively. There's ginger, lime, lavender, vanilla, and amber wood. That's some of the notes in the fragrance. And by that note breakdown, you can probably tell kind of how this one goes. When you first spray it on, like I said, really icy, very fresh. As it dries down, it's a lot warmer and it gets, a lot of people would say, a lot sexier. So it does start to take on that stronger with you DNA, the longer that this is on your skin, but because they've freshened things up and they've reined in a little bit of that richness, it makes it where you can really pull this one off in spring very well. It's the kind of fragrance you can spray on in the afternoon and then wear it through to the evening. As the fragrance dries down, it's actually going to change with the day and you don't really need to switch the fragrance for the night out, you know? You got something for when it's warmer and then when it gets a little bit cooler, it still works. That one is a big potential compliment puller like all the Stronger With You fragrances in case that's important to you. And from the entire line, that one is really the only one I would consider 
for warmer weather. Up next at number four is just a killer for the office, Prada Loam. Iris, Amber, Neroli, and Pepper are some of the notes in the fragrance. And really this one kind of took the place of Infusion Dome. So that was a Prada fragrance that's now discontinued. It was very, very soapy. And this one came out and kind of took that one's place. It is more modern than Infusion Dome was, which I own that one, it's really good, but I wouldn't pay the marked up prices for it. But anyway, it took that, that soapiness, that cleanliness, that freshness, modernized it, made it much, much easier to pull off in more situations nowadays. You could also go with Prada Loam Low, but that's a little bit better for summer wear. Prada Loam, better for spring, where sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. This one is not too heavy, but also not too light, so it strikes that balance. And with this one being so clean, fresh, refined, and rich smelling, it is a big attention grabber, big compliment puller. We're in the top three. Number three, Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. It's got Neroli, Orange Blossom, Bergamot, and of course Woods as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one with the Neroli and the Orange Blossom working together gives you that white floral, citric, clean, and at times a, a touch powdery feel in the opening. Very, very well done. And then you have clean modern woods in the dry down as well. That one for me, a little bit better in really high heat. I like those white florals when it's really hot outside, really shines. And that one, like a lot of the fragrances here, super versatile. You can pull it off just about anywhere. All right, let's keep it going. Number two, Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir Eau de Toilette Extreme, or just Blue Noir Extreme. This one has citrus, ice, musk, and cedar as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one, it's a little bit like taking a blue fragrance, oh, obviously, <laughs> Blue Noir, but taking a blue fragrance, and by that I mean something that's a really big attention grabber, very versatile, uh, big compliment puller, taking that and making it just a touch more grown up. So this one has citrus in the opening along with that ice, and that icy note lets you know it's gonna be very brisk, very refreshing when you first spray it on, but the woodiness there comes out really early on. And it's more prominent, more noticeable than a lot of other blue fragrances. Now, of course, you have that muskiness in there, which the uh, Narciso Rodriguez for Helm line is really well known for, but it's not really aggressive. It's just this nice clean white musk in this scent. So this is one that younger guys can pull off and it's gonna have them smell a little bit more grown up in a very positive way. And obviously middle-aged and older guys can pull off as well if they want that blue fragrance versatility, compliment factor and um, adaptability that a fragrance like that gives you, but they don't wanna to smell too youthful. You know, they don't want something that's really bubble gummy sweet. Then something like this is an awesome choice. And that's gonna take me to number one, which is from Hermes, Terre d'Hermes Eau Très Fraîche. You might have thought I was gonna say age 24, no, Eau Très Fraîche. This one takes that Terre d'Hermes DNA, makes it fresher, it makes it smoother, rounds off the edges, makes it less aggressive, removes a lot of that dirtiness from the original, which a lot of you out there love, I know, I love it as well, but that does make the original more divisive. This one does away with that. So what does that mean? That means this fragrance is very fresh, but at the same time, extremely sophisticated. So you can easily pull this off in a formal situation or a business situation, especially when it's warm outside. And of all the Terre d'Hermes fragrances, this one is the most versatile. So you're getting that Hermes quality along with a big potential compliment pulling fragrance and extreme versatility. And Terre d'Hermes is number one for me. Can't wait to wear this one. It is just chef's kiss. There we go, guys. My top 10 for spring 2021 designer edition along with three honorable mentions. Let me know in the comments below what you're wearing this spring and also have links to these fragrances in the description as well in case you're interested. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.